Hello everyone, this is Noble H. Mustache, and today we are here with another main association of mathletics problem from March 2014, Meet 5, Round 5, Problem 3, Arithmetic with Statistics. So this is the actual round as you would see it from 2014. As you can see, we have a few topics here. We have mean, median, mode, least common multiple, bases, and try to see if you can do all three problems within 12 minutes. So, today we are doing problem 3, the mean, median, and mode of a group of 8 positive integers, or 8, 9, and 10 respectively. m is the largest of these integers. Find the sum of the largest and smallest possible values for m for all such groups. So first, whenever I see a problem like this, I focus on the mean and median first. And then I focus on kind of the mode, because usually the mean and median are easiest to figure out what information you need from them. So we have 8 positive integers, and m is the biggest. So the two middle ones, the average of the two middle ones will be 9, since the median is 9. So multiply both sides of this equation by 2, and you get d plus e equals 18. So... 9 and 9 add up to 18, and 8 and 10 add up to 18. But 7 and 11 also add up to 18. But if you have 7 and 11, then there's no 10. So it can't be something like 7 or 11 or 6 and 12. So these are only two possibilities, 8 and 10 or 9 and 9. Those are the only ways we can have a mode of 10. Okay, so now the equation for the mean is we sum them all up all over 8, because since there's 8 positive integers, equals 8. Multiply both sides of the equation by 8, and you get the sum of all of them equals 64. Okay, so now we need to kind of go through our cases and find the different smallest or largest possible values of m. So, I'm going to start with de equals 9, 9, just because that's easier, in my opinion. But, basically... We don't know a, b, and c yet, but we know that the middle two are 9 and 9. We also know that the mode is 10, so that means that since there's two 9s, if there's two 10s, that would also make the mode 9. So there has to be more than two 10s, so there's three 10s. So 9, 9, 10, 10, 10. So now we know that m is 10. And m has to be at least 10, since there's always going to be a 10. So, and m is the largest possible, and m is the largest integer. So m is at least 10. So if we can prove that m equals 10 is possible, that means 10 is the smallest possible value for m. So now we use the equation we got from the mean, and we get a plus b plus c plus 9 plus 9 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 64. Subtract both sides by 48, and you get a plus b plus c equals 16. And our three positive integers, this does an example, but it can be 3, 6, and 7. So we get 3, 6, 7, 9, 9, 10, 10, 10. And this is valid. It meets all of our criteria of mean is 8, median is 9, and mode is 10. So that means that m can be 10. So so the smallest possible value of m is 10. Okay, and now de equals 8, 10. So we don't know a, b, and c yet, but we know that there's 8 and 10. And we there has to be at least two 10s since 10 is the mode, so it's 10, and then the next one is 10. And then g, we don't know what g is yet. And then m, we don't know what m is yet. So we want to find, we already know the smallest possible value of m. So with this case, we want to find the biggest possible value of m. Since we know that all of these sum to 64, if in order to make m as big as possible, everything else needs to be as small as possible. So what's the smallest possible value of g? g has to be at least 10, since it's bigger than this 10. It comes after this 10. So it has to be at least 10. So, so the smallest possible value of g is 10. So now we know that g is 10. We also know that a, b, and c are positive integers, so they're all at least 1. However, they can't all be 1, 1, 1, since that would be 3 ones, and that would break the mode of 10. So th there can only be 2 ones, so I've put in 1 and 1 as a, b, and the next one has to be 2, since that's the smallest integer after 1. So 1, 1, 2, 8, 10, 10, 10. And then we sum all of this up, to get, and it's equal to 64, since which we found earlier. Subtract both sides by 42, and you get m equals 22. 
So the biggest possible value of m is 22, where we have 1, 1, 2, 8, 10, 10, 10, 22, which meets all of our possible criteria. Mean of 10, median of 9, and... No, mean of 8, median of 9, and mode of 10. So the smallest possible value is 10, and the largest possible value of 22, so the sum of those two together is 32. And that's our answer. So hopefully I didn't go too fast in this video. If you're not familiar with going through different kinds of cases like that, we're using the mean and median first, and then using the mode, that's just basically how I think. I, I just figure out equations from the mean and median, and then I figure out more I figured out the rest that I need to figure out from the mode and what the problem asks us for. So yeah, um, arithmetic with statistics is a pretty easy round as long as you're good with bases. If you're not good with bases, I think I've done some base videos earlier, so you can probably search my channel for bases and check those out. Um, so yeah, again, this this round is just pretty basic. It's mostly just arithmetic. You can also use a calculator. So if you're slow at arithmetic, use that. that. So speed isn't really a factor since you have a calculator. But yeah, I hope you like this problem and have fun doing math. But this is the last main association of math leagues problem I will do in a long time since we've gotten through all of the rounds of all of the meets. What I'm going to do next is either is probably going to be something related to programming or maybe just something general about math or I might do American Legion Mathematics League problem which I did back in June or I might do AMC problems American Mathematics Competitions problems which I haven't done before so yeah just check out for that I'm gonna do either programming or higher level math competitions I'm probably not going to come back to MAML until a very long time, because I, I think now that I've gotten through all of the rounds, I can probably go on to higher level maths in this video channel. So I hope you enjoy, stick around for what's next, and have fun doing math.